Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can buy low and sell for a profit. Now, these are items that I sold for $35 or less. So these are not like my big money bolos. I've got lots of videos on big money bolos that other people have sold. And then I also have my big money bolos. So you can check out those videos as well if you wanna learn about big money items. But these are the bread and butter that just make you have sales daily. All right, the first one here is this Barbie Blue Laundry Basket by Mattel Dreamhouse, 2006 retired. And I got this at the Goodwill Bins and I sold it for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. The same buyer also bought this little cute set, which is also Barbie. It is a toaster mixer and rolling pin. Sold this for a best offer of eight. And that one also came from the Goodwill bins. This is vintage bedtime yellow BJ and thermal blue pajamas. Barney and Friends nine inch plush. Got this at the Goodwill bins. So probably a dollar or less in it and sold it for a best offer of $11 plus shipping. This is a vintage green Gumby 14 inch plush stuffed animal. Ice Novelty, I'm sorry, not Ice, Ace Novelty, Prima Toys Retro. And I sold this for a best offer of $18 plus shipping. And this, I believe, came from a viewer of the channel who has purchased from me before. So thank you for your purchase. She also bought the Barbie items. And uh, repeat customer, definitely. So usually that means probably somebody who is a viewer of the channel. Now, this one right here came from Terry Mindful Recycle. Um, check her out on YouTube and on eBay. She is absolutely incredible. I will link her down below. She's one of the biggest Bolo finders that I know. I mean, she sources amazing stuff and she is incredible. So check out her What Sold videos if you really wanna learn about some big money Bolos. And I will link her down in the description. And Mindful Recycle, Terry, she sent me a box. I call it a box of bolos as a gift. And I did an unboxing on that as well. If you want to see the other items she sent me. Super, super fun box. And that was one of the items in it. This is a vintage Barbie icebreaker suit skirt with jacket. And I don't remember where I got this, but I sold it for a best offer of 10 and free shipping on that one because it was the same buyer as the others. So I just included it in her bundle with free shipping. Jimmy Big Mouth Billy Bass Singing Fish. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. Kind of heavy, so probably had five or six bucks in it. I knew that it was a bolo, but the head did not flip forward correctly. So I put a video and sold it for $24.80 plus shipping. So still made a profit, but not as much as I would have. This is a little vintage hard plastic toothpick holder, Christmas bunny rabbit, Santa's favorites. Got this um, in a mystery box, a thrift store mystery box, which I have not gotten for a long time. Sold it for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. This one right here is a Tornado Zorro horse loose action figure from 1997. And I got it at the Goodwill bins. It was kind of heavy, so probably a couple bucks in it. Sold, I'm not super heavy, but probably had a couple bucks in it at the bins. Sold it for 13 plus shipping and it was not in perfect condition, but it still sold. You can see like some little marks and stuff like that on it. This one here is a vintage Jaworski, ja, ja the butterfly trick shot rack. Works with all pool tables, it says. It's vintage. It is cool. Got this at the Goodwill Bins and I sold it for $26 of a less shipping. This is a Smurf. It's a vintage. Oh, I spell vintage with two eyes. Good for me. It's a vintage Christmas Peo Schley uh, Portugal Papa Smurf ornament from 1981. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold it for 13 and the buyer was all in for 1860 on that little guy. These right here are vintage plastic angel dolls. Now these were listed for quite a while. Uh, December of 2022 and sold them in November of 2023. So about a year. Got them at a garage sale for a buck and sold them for $13.63 plus shipping. Would I buy it again? Probably not. 
our generation batat uh this is a doll and she does have on her apron but she's missing her shirt but that's okay because she's still sold and i got her at the goodwill bins she's a little bit heavier probably about five five bucks maybe maybe six i mean she's pretty heavy and they are marked on the neck and i sold her for 18 dollars 60 plus shipping this one is a 2010 Thomas the Train Take Along Sodor Mining Company Rumbling Gold Mine Playset. And I got this for, I can't remember where I got this, but I think I probably sold the trains separately. It may have been a thrift store mystery box. And I sold this for $15.49 plus shipping. Item here is this vintage gunned monkey, 1987. And it is a plush stuffed toy from Thailand. It is a zippy tippy. And I sold this little guy for $31, got it at the Goodwill bins and the buyer paid shipping. All right, this is a vintage pinback DC Comics Batman and Robin 1982 button up 2011 Austin Troy, Michigan. I believe MI is 1.5 inch. And you can see here, button up 2011. I just wrote what it says. And I think this is the patent date. This came out of a mystery dibble box from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. The next item is this 2015 Just Play Cocker Spaniel Puppy Dog Brown Plush Animated Clubs Pets. And I got this at a thrift store for $3 and I sold it for $15.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Avon Eyeliner Glimmer Sticks from 2005. It is vintage and it did not have an expiration date on it. These are actually from, these were my personal stock that I had up in a cabinet. And I really didn't like the kind that was waterproof because um, it's hard to get off and it's annoying. I, I just, I don't. I don't do a lot of makeup. I like things that come off easy. And it, I ended up selling three of these for $18 in the buyer paid shipping. This right here is a vintage Knickerbocker rattle plastic Easter bunny rabbit pink with blue overalls. And the same, uh, I sold that one for that one and this one. It's a vintage black cat with ball ramp walker toy Hong Kong. These two items sold together for a total of $41.54. And the buyer was Pinky's second hand store on eBay. And she is a huge support to the channel. So thank you so much for your purchase. And these items were actually in a mystery box that was purchased from Donatella Bottolino's uh, YouTube channel by Amazing Steals and Deals. Uh, definitely check out Amazing Steals and Deals on eBay. He has an incredible eBay store. He is one of the biggest bolo finders. He's up there with he, him and Mindful Recycle. I'm telling you, they have major bolos. You definitely want to check out both their stores. But he purchased me a mystery box. And these were two of the items that were in it. So thank you again. I really appreciate that box. This right here, um, vintage clip-on earrings. These were also purchased by Pinky's secondhand store on eBay. And she bought these for $21.70 plus shipping. And I don't remember where I got these. Um, I have had these listed for a little while, but they are blingy and pretty. And this is what they look like. Um, now I bring items like this to Whatnot. So if you're not following me on Whatnot, definitely come on over. Um, I am Bolo Buddies over there. I do have a referral link down below that will get you $15 to shop when you join with my referral link. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out in the chat. It's kind of like a live format and you can talk to other people and just hang out. So I'd love to see you guys over there. And the $15 that you get for using my referral link, you can spend that with me or anyone on whatnot. So I hope to see you. This is a vintage 1985 pound puppy tan brown eight inch newborn stuffed plush floppy ears by Tonka. This one came from my good friend. Um, I did a video on it. She gave me a box of her childhood plush and I showed you guys how I listed everything. This one sold for $9.30 and the buyer paid shipping. And again, that was free to me. The next item are these 2007 Mattel monkey figure toys, a lot of two. Um, they are by Mattel, so I don't know what playset they go to. That would have probably been helpful if I could have figured it out, but I could not. So they still sold. 
I sold these for $8 plus shipping. And these came out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. It was a toy box that I bought off of her on YouTube. And she is still selling um, on YouTube. I think you can still get mystery boxes from her. I know, um, I don't think Donatella is still doing it anymore, but uh, I believe Auctions for You is. So definitely check Auctions for You out on YouTube. This is a Carlton Cards Heirloom, a fairy odd Christmas ornament, retired 2004 with box. Got this at a garage sale for a dollar and sold it for $21.70 plus shipping. Uh, vintage or retired items that are ornaments are definitely a great item to pick up. I love picking up ornaments, especially when they're in the box because they are easy to list, easy to ship, and they sell. So some of them sell quicker than others, but one of the ones I like to talk about are like the baby ornaments or baby's first Christmas or um, anniversary items, different things like that. A lot of times they're long tail, but you can list them higher and wait for the right buyer because somebody breaks it. Somebody is looking for it. Same with like the lovey plush, uh, like the little security blankets. A lot of times those sell for big money because someone is looking for it and they are hard to find because they get broken, they get lost, they get thrown away, they get used, used, used like the loveys. Oh my goodness. I had one person that bought a lovey off of me and she sent me pictures of two other loveys that she had and they were just beat. And this one was in so much better condition. So it was a replacement. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times kids take those loveys everywhere with them and they lose them. And where do people turn for retired, ex, ex, not expired, retired or harder to find items? eBay. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.